Greetings, Earthlings, YouTubers. I can't believe I just sung that. Okay, anyways, I'm here because I wanted to help kind of narrate what you're going to watch, what you're about to watch. Because if you clicked on this, then you're about, the name caught you and you're like, I want to see what that bitch got going on. Because she said that she was doing this and this name suggests she might not be. So I want to see. Anyways, I'm just going to choose to keep it real and just be honest because that's what I do best. Okay. If, um, first of all, I want to say I got engaged. So, that was like the best and most exciting part of this transformation is that I went into it not a girlfriend but like a fiance. So, that gave me like a little bit more confidence and I was like, yeah, you can do this. And the second thing that I want to say is that I have transition. I am transitioning into using cruelty free makeup. Now the makeup that I have that's not cruelty free, I gave like most of it away. But some of the stuff, like I'll be honest, like the MAC stuff, it's hard to give away because it's so expensive. So you're like, that's over a hundred dollars of stuff. But you know, you're like, so maybe I'll just use it out. Like I have six MAC lipsticks and I'm like well maybe I'll just use them but when I go to put them on I'm gonna sound crazy but I hear animals screaming that's what Mac done done to me I hear animals screaming I can like see the visions thanks to Instagram and social media I can like see it in my head so I'm like I don't wanna wear this shit you know but it's hard to part with it cause you're poor and you spend your coin getting it so I'm just all fucked up. I guess eventually I'll give it away because I'm not really using it. Even though it's there, I'll gravitate to like the NYX and the the stuff that I know whose mother brand is still test on animals. So that's kind of like another battle that you have to, you're like, okay, all right, you don't test, but your mother brand tests. And most mother brands do test because they know they can. And then if it's from China, that's a law they test because somebody check you on instagram real quick and let you know so it is a battle but i don't plan on giving up it is important to me <clears throat> and it always has been and it always will be and that's the fight i choose to fight so with that being said we're gonna get into this this video and you're gonna see how how i thought i knew exactly what i was doing and where i was going in life and life just seemed to have other plans. Okay, now we're in the car and I'm about to finish my makeup off in the car. I got all my goodies up in there to do it quick. I guess there were signs you know small signs to me because I was ready to go so even if they were big signs I probably wouldn't have caught them because I was ready to go and I was like I'm doing this you know so I just kind of rolled with it and I was like it was off to a rocky start but somehow with God's help it smoothed over you know how people are sometimes be all fucked up at the beginning and then you like I don't know. I'm not good at testing 
being tested because I'm fucking real. So I end up getting the job. Sign one, the bad interview. And now I'm actually on my way back to turn in like a packet of like 30 papers that I had to fill out, but I have only did like five, so I gotta do the other papers in the car. Sign two, the missed deadlines. Not once, not twice, but I think maybe three times. Turns out that it wasn't um, life or death with the packet. I mean, it's pretty important, but it, I had my social, my name on my social security card. My middle name has two ends, and my birth certificate has one end, so I have to go get that fixed before I can get processed. They won't accept my packet. It is a lot. I feel like I'm applying for college. And But the lady, again, was very nice. All right, we're done with the Social Security office. I don't even know if I said I had to go there, but I did to get one little bitty end changed on my middle name. Stopping me from getting the job. So one the end. But we got it. And sign three, if we were, you know, keeping count, would be, I should be doing it like this, huh? Sign three. <laughs> would be the social security card like one letter one letter but i was like oh shit hell yeah let's do it it's like college let's do it greetings earth people and reptilian peace. um i'm on my way to drop off my social security card which finally came in saturday so we'll see how this goes i was supposed to turn my paperwork in in friday so i'm a little nervous about that and it's fourth of july weekend so you don't know if this place is gonna be open or if not but i'm still going <clears throat> okay so in the next one i guess all i can really say about that is when your mind is set and you feel like you've had enough because i the, my family would tell you i come home minty of days stressed out about that job still making money but stressed out you know and I was like, this is not worth it. This is not worth it. This is not worth it. So when the, the Underground Railroad came along, I was like, let me get up on in there. So I think I had to be pushed. You know, I had to do it or I would have never left because I know how it feels to be wondering how you're going to make it, you know, and not have security. Like, I hate not having security. I hate that. It's not cool. It's how I grew up. It's not cool. So, I was moving forward. That's why I was telling about Today was the day that I met it official and I actually told my co-workers and my, and my boss that it was going to be my last, well, Thursday is going to be my last day. So, and, and like I've said before, it's kind of bittersweet because everybody's so nice. You know, usually we're mad, we hate each other. Well, I'm, I was like, look. Y'all know y'all get on my fucking nerves, but I wanted to say I'm sorry for being a bitch when I was, and I appreciate y'all, you know, and my time is over now. I'm moving on. Sometimes change is uh, scary, I guess, even though it's long overdue and I like it. It's just a little, a little different, you know. I'm kind of worried about money. Always worried about money. Always. But um, overall, my week off was fabulous. I slept. I didn't wear too much makeup. I just rested, you know, so I don't look 100 years old. And um, did a little bit of stuff for my house. And oh my God, I'm almost fucking forgetting. A bitch got engaged. <laughs> yes, I got engaged. I'm a fucking good. This woman taught me a fucking girl. I can't believe I got engaged. I'm the girl that never thought she'd get married. I'm just in a uh, new job, new bundles, and a fucking engaged. Oh, the fuck up. Oh, the fuck up. So, it's, it's good. New clothes? This is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. I kept that clip in there because God is still good. Even though we're getting to a different part of the video god is still good and even from this day the first day really of the de after the decision i made 
and I don't know what's going to happen, but I can still say he's good. So that's why I kept that in there. Not to you, to some people, I might sound like a fool, but that don't matter. What matters is that I keep it real and tell you the truth, and that is the truth. Your girl is just leaving her orientation. I'm thinking, oh, yes, orientation is going to be a nice 8 o'clock to like noon because there's no way they're going to keep us there all day, Buffy. No way. Fucking wrong. I'm going to at 8 to 4. And that was it. I'm like, greetings. Tonight is going to be my first night. It is 6.40. I got up. I woke up at like 8 plus 7 and saw Bay off. Then I stayed up till 1, almost like 1.30. And I went back to sleep till 5.15. So now I'm about to start getting dressed. How I'm feeling about it right now is I'm like... I don't want to look back on this and be like, you're such a lame-o. You didn't even want to go to work. Okay. So, after the first night, you know, you can see I was like, I was trying really hard to be not be that girl. I was like, you're going to come off like you don't want to work. And I'm like, but that's not true. So, I guess I was like really kind of not feeling it. But I was like, you have to make yourself feel it. Anyways, um, so I was like battling with myself because I was like you you're, you're lazy you just don't want to work you just want to stay at home be up under your man but that's not the case if I was making money I would have been like hell yeah because we got a wedding so update this would be okay if I had a car like sharing a car makes it 10 times as hard because you spend literally 4 hours driving to his job, whether it's to my job, they're both about an hour and a half away, and then you gotta drive home, then you gotta try to catch sleep. I just don't really know how I'm going to sleep yet, and I need my sleep. So, um, I'm gonna give it a chance, I guess. Right now, I'm about to go to sleep. Because I had like four hours of sleep yesterday. And the day before I slept like a real night and then like all day. So it was okay. But now it's like my little friends are coming back. And we can't have that. And then there was the issue of the distance and the sleep. I have to get a, a minimum of some kind of sleep. Like more than a nap. Or I get cranky, man. So, I probably got cranky here towards the end, too. But, and I didn't, being newly, like, engaged, you kind of want to be at home with your babe. So, it was hard to think that I would have to stay on this shift for three months. You know, gambling if I was going to make money, if I was in the right section or not. So, it, it was starting to... Like, I was costing me like $20 a day in gas to just go to Abbeville to Kinder, so. And I wasn't making. In two days, I saved my tips together. I think I made like $86 in two days. So, but others were making money around me, so I just, I said, maybe it's me. And then I said... That. <laughs> I'm a little bit more confident now and plus I, I, it's, I need money I ain't worked in like two and a half weeks and I'm like down to my last 20 and I'm supposed to like to go do shit I don't know I'm just I guess it's just like and work and fun and yay don't go in the same sentence for me like, I make work fun, but I never think, oh, this is going to be fun going, you know? Look at this shit. I just came back from a meeting, and I went like this with just eyebrows and lashes because I worked last night, got like two, one, an hour and a half of sleep. This shit going to be too long. And I was like, fuck that. I'm just drawing some eyebrows and going with my fucking blonde. When you have blonde hair, you can do anything. You can do anything and get away with it. 
I'm gonna have to see. By the end of this week, let me see what them duckies looking like. What them duckies looking like. And I'll let you know. Because right now, it's like, nah. But I ain't seen no duckies. Greetings from the Brookside. I'm not feeling it. And I'm not making money, you know? And a lot of times it's like, hang in there, you know? But I'm like, most of the time it doesn't kick off. It don't kick off, you know? So I just, I don't think I'm going in. Like I'm weighing in, it's way more cons than pros. The only pro would be that, you know, I didn't give up. But everything else is costing me more money to go than I'm making doesn't make sense towards the end I believe I was just delirious I had a lack of sleep and I couldn't make a proper decision but I knew that I didn't like it and my my family was they're okay with anything I'm okay with It just wasn't working out in the end better for me and I still hadn't got a check yet to kind of balance the money that I wasn't making which they were gonna be taking out no matter if I met it or not they're gonna be taking out $45 a day so it was just adding up adding up adding up and I was just like what's going on <laughs> that's the money I came in here with yo what's going on you might like staying up late, but you like staying up late when you're not at work. You like staying up late and watching Netflix, not surfing shit. I like working late. Um, that's when I'm most creative is at night, but not around... Yeah, creative, not productive. It's not productive. It's just not really my thing. I guess I'm like a family person, and it's just kind of not my thing. Like, I don't want to be gone all the time, but that's not even the... The issue was the money. Just as an adult, you know, you're kind of disappointed in yourself because you're like, I should have planned that out better. But I'm learning in my journey as a human being, though, some things will take and take and take and take and take and take from you. Sometimes you have to draw the limit before you end up making your situation a hell for everybody involved. So we're just in the, we're in the in-between phase. Like one thing to the other thing. When you live where we live, it's just kind of hard because it's not a lot around. So you either, and then we got to make it to where it's, it flows in the direction for both of us. Because we share a car. And a house. And gas. And bills. So, if you made it to the end... Thank you for watching and hopefully being entertained and knowing that it's okay to make mistakes, I guess. Your family's not going to stop loving you and you won't die. But you might not be able to do your bundle so quickly again. <laughs> but then again, you might. I just have to believe in me, I guess. So, well, you know, and what God invests in me. I try never to be too shallow, but humble. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. You don't have to, because I'll still do it and I'll be more comfortable. <laughs>